In this video, we will be describing the right sided subdiaphragmatic peritonectomy for a patient who is having deposits in a case of cancer ovary. The liver mobilization has been performed and the patient's abdomen has been retracted by self retaining Thomson retractors. As you can see, once the peritoneum is lifted up, one starts to notice the fibers of the diaphragm which can initially just be retracted and pushed away with the fingers. Especially in cases following neoadjuvant chemotherapy, one needs to use the sponge on a stick in order to dissect it. Other option is to dissect it using a ball cautery. However, as long as the dissection is possible with a sponge and a stick, it is one of the best ways to perform this dissection for the patient. You can see the peritoneum gets lifted away from the diaphragmatic muscle and the diaphragmatic muscle keeps on getting pushed apart. The liver mobilization is one of the most important steps which has been described in previous surgical videos in order to perform this procedure effectively and the entire peritoneum which exists as the hepatorenal pouch as you can see here needs to be lifted open as well as the peritoneum which exists on the under surface of the liver which is being described needs to be lifted open. This entire peritoneum needs to come out as a single sheet. You can see here the peritoneum is getting excised from the under surface of the liver along with the remaining peritoneum which has already been excised. A part of this excision will also include the excision of the falciform ligament. The falciform ligament can be excised prior to performing this dissection. As you can see here the muscle fibers of the diaphragm are visible very clearly over the peritoneum which can simply be pushed away by providing traction over that part and using sponge on a stick you can notice the muscle fibers of the diaphragm which are getting pushed. In cases where paracardiac lymphadenectomy needs to be performed this is one of the most important steps where the liver needs to be mobilized and the diaphragm needs to be pushed apart so that one can access the paracardiac lymph nodes. One has to be very careful with the liver mobilization and what we have realized that in such cases the self-retaining Thomson retractor is one of the best retaining mechanisms which is available in order to push the liver and the diaphragm aside. You can see here the falciform ligament is now being retracted away. Already the cut ends of the triangular ligament are visible along the anterior aspect of the liver. In cases where a complete peritonectomy is being performed, one can also use the same plane to perform the cholecystectomy which forms a part of the complete peritonectomy. Subtle deposits were visible along the inferior aspect of the liver at the level of the subdiaphragmatic peritoneum which we were suspecting to be invading inside the diaphragmatic muscle. The peritoneum on that part was extremely difficult to be taken out and hence a ball cautery was used to perform coagulation over that part of the peritoneum. One can also use the argon beam CO2 lasers which are also equally good. There are also plasma jet devices which are available in order to coagulate this peritoneum. However, we are comfortable with the ball cautery and we have had excellent results by performing ball coagulation over the diaphragmatic muscle for these implants which are approximately 1 to 2 millimeters in size and when the peritoneum is extremely difficult to excise. That would mark the end of the subdiaphragmatic peritonectomy as you can visualize.